The millennial generation is uniquely positioned to take advantage of the state of play in technology today. There's never been a better time to be a retail investor. The apps that are available and the level of information just didn't exist 30 years ago or even 10 years ago. So I think because technology as a sector is dwarfing everything else at such a rapid pace, that's changed the way new younger generations like millennials are, are creating wealth. I'm Guy Saxelby. I'm the CEO of Early Trade, a fintech company I founded in 2016. Uh, Early Trade owns the largest working capital marketplace in the Asia Pacific. Prior to Early Trade, I trained in finance and I worked and invested in tech companies. And um, right now we're in the process of setting up Merton Street Capital. It will invest in private markets much like a VC would and in public markets similar to a hedge fund. Broadly speaking, we're a little bit more aggressive and short term in our investments in the public market, simply because of the liquidity and the real time way you can move in and out of investments. And then the private market's all about backing passionate founders early, um, you know, holding on and, and riding your winners. So it's very long term. Um, in terms of financial advice, um, it's an absolute must, especially when you're making direct investments into private companies. Um, you've got to get tax advice, um, you've got to have a good accountant, and obviously um, having a good banking partner is really important. Convenience in research of investment is a must-have. You need to be able to get real-time access to information. Um, investment tools have to be usable enough so that I can go in and out of investments on my phone. Now, obviously, long-term, big investments, um, I do still use my desktop, but once you like something, to really take advantage of those market swings, being able to trade and access information on your phone in a really seamless way and get that UX and that customer experience, it's almost um, a deal breaker if something doesn't have that. Superannuation to me, you know, although it is a good um, tax vehicle um, and savings vehicle for me, um, it, it's always felt a little bit too far in the future. Um, however, this year I've started to move my superannuation investments into a self-managed fund and I'll be investing that the exact same way I invest in private markets now. For me, it's about building sustainable long-term wealth um, you know, and doing it in a way that, you know, you can leave something for the next generation. But, you know, also I think getting to a stage where you can have financial freedom and, you know, live off passive income from your investment. Um, I love pitting myself against the market, um, trying to outsmart it, often not outsmarting it. But that intellectual curiosity and the competitive nature of trying to win um, probably is what gets me out of bed each day and to try and better myself. So what advice would I give? I'm a millennial. The first $100,000 is the hardest. And then you can start investing and compound interest is a beautiful thing. You know, you can often do quite well just investing passively through an ETF and take, take the money you, you earn and invest it invest it again and that's how you can really grow your nest egg over you know a couple of decades.